Hey guys, I'm all nestled down in my spot. Now just a waiting game. They usually come through here about 5 p.m. Right now it's about 20 after 4. So I think it's about 20 after 4. I'm not sure. I've never laid on my belly to hunt before, but I found a really good secluded place that they cannot see me till they're right up on me, but I can see all the way up the hill, so this is as good a place as any. I just hope my big butt can get back up after laying on my belly this long. <laughs> I'll check back in later, guys. So here's my view. It's about 20 minutes later. I can just now, I doubt you guys can hear it, but I can hear them coming up the other side of that hill. I'm just hoping they make it over before dark. Today's kind of my perfect favorite kind of hunting day. It's a little bit windy, but it's not so windy to where you can't hear them coming, but it makes it hard for them to hear you because the dead leaves falling and the trees shaking and it's really good and really ideal conditions for me anyway. It's about 42 degrees, 45, 42, 45, somewhere in there. A little breezy. I'm downwind from them. That's another advantage. You definitely want to keep in mind, you always want to be downwind. You might be able to hear them, I don't know. Probably not with the wind and the trees rustling around, but it almost sounds like they're going to go around behind me, which is which really sucks because there's no way that I can get up and turn around without them hearing me and completely spooking them. But I'm just going to turn this on and let it play just in case they happen to wander around in front of me because... They're pretty close. I can't tell how far from the sound, but I didn't. I would guess they're no more than maybe 50 yards away from me. And I'm on the ground right beside a big tree, so I can't see to my left where they're at. <laughs> I'll go figure, right? But I'm just gonna let this play, and we'll see what happens. I know you can probably hear the cars passing by, but I'm not as close to the road as it may sound. This is actually kind of a, like a valley, so all that sound comes right up the holler, which is kind of to my benefit as well because they're used to that sound, and it'll help disguise any sound I make, or muffle it anyway. So if I do have to move, I do usually make it when a car is going by. thinking about it, if any of you boys and girls are happen to be looking for uh, any 5.56, five, 2.23, five, two, two, whatever, Bass Pro here anyway has it for 
$1.99 a box, 20 rounds. Just thought I'd pass that along. I think it's this weekend only. And it's in store only. You can't order it online. I tried. <laughs> Rural Kings also got it. Well, here anyway, for uh, $13.99 a box for 20. I grabbed three boxes last night. big trophy buck for me if it's a good size doe I'll take it I'm all about putting it in the freezer I'm not about trophies so I don't want nobody commenting that I just took what I could get because I mean well basically yeah but I won't take a little one that's just a waste it's too expensive to waste on a little bitty deer unless it's like the last weekend and you haven't got anything yet and you want some meat for your freezer. Now, if I processed everything myself at home, I wouldn't mind taking the smaller one, but I can't afford, you know, the, the grinders and all that stuff. So I have to pay to have mine processed. So I'm not gonna pay to have a hundred and 510 pound little baby processed. That's crazy. yourself in the position of having to hunt for your food and you're going for like big game like deer hog uh, I don't know about hog but you know things like that uh, squirrels and birds are a dead giveaway that there's big game coming through especially like squirrels because squirrels are really territorial and as soon as a deer's coming through, I mean, they, they're jumping around tree to tree, uh, barking real loud. Uh, I mean, just carry it on. They definitely out the deers on every time they're coming through. Which is another reason I know they're kind of going behind me because the squirrels are really quiet. You might hear one every now and then, but I mean, that's normal. soon because field dressing in the dark sucks.
actually watch this. Are you kidding me? I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's not on his property, but it was damn close. I bet you that was the deer I was just listening to. Possibly. With any luck, he'll scare some and they'll come back this way. Dang it. I'm on Mandy's dad's land, by the way. Oh, and I was going to say, if you're actually watching this video, as boring as it is, bless your heart. Thank you. I'm hoping next year, if we're still halfway, you know, normal civilization, I'm hoping to have a camera mount my crossbow. But, you know, who knows? That's a whole year away. somebody hunting that close. Never, ever has anybody hunted back in here. But new folks bought the house next door this past year or so. That might explain that. starts running it's when you'll get the hiccups it's when you know whatever you gotta fart <laughs> whatever it's gonna happen when you're hunting promise
getting really close to that cutoff point now. I haven't heard any movement behind me either, so they must have moved on. But that don't mean anything, because this is a pretty busy highway for deer. The creek that runs behind Mandy's dad's house is literally called Buck Creek. Buck, not butt. guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and pack it up and start heading to the truck looks like uh maybe better luck next time but thanks for hanging out with me i definitely it's it's getting darker it's darker out here than what it looks on the camera so i'm gonna go ahead and head in and we'll try her maybe again tomorrow evening god bless y'all love you guys